Now everyone, Cliff here in the shed again. Right, what I'm about to do now is play with my new kiln and I'm gonna attempt some heat treating on this silver still. I've got three bits here which are punches I make. Well two of them I make, one is a special but so I've got a 10 mil one, a 15 mil one and a 20 mil one. Now ordinarily what I do for heat treating is use the magnet test I heat them up with a torch till they become non-magnetic and then quench them and then clean them up heat them up again to a strawish colour sort of light to dark straw to anneal them to temper them rather but I'm going to try doing it in my kiln today so I've got the kiln and it's up to temperature. I'm going to put them on that little grid thing there and stick them in the kiln. When when I do get them out of the kiln, <clears throat> what I'm going to try and do is I'll put them on top before I quench them and I'll try and get a photo of what the actual colour of them is. Um, I know that it's going to be on film and the lighting's different and I mean there's no natural light in this shed at all because I think I've said before I had to block all the windows up because of the thieving bastards around here but um, I'll try and get a picture of them of what colour they actually are when they come out I normally do them to a pretty bright red before they become non-magnetic so it'll be interesting to see what colour they get to at 780 degrees which is uh, fall off you bastard right I'm going to stick them in the kiln oh, it's hot in there right while they're cooking I'm going to make up some brine some salty water to quench them in I've been in for about 10 minutes and I just had a quick look in through the hole here. They're looking a bit peculiar. The little 10 mil one looks like it's probably heated through. Looks like it's uh, got almost like a coating on it. Um, the 20 mil one don't look like it's cooked right through yet so I'm going to give it another 5 minutes. Then I think I'll get them out whatever. Right, they've been in uh, 18 minutes now. They're definitely definitely hot so I'm going to put them up on top here uh oh I need a pair of tongs pliers right so I'm going to get them out and quench them I've got my other camera going so that it's a bit more of a close-up on the top of that and you might be able to see what colour they are there you go see if I can get them up without losing them oh they're definitely hot right hopefully the other camera is picking that up but I want to quench them reasonably quick Get them out in a second. Right, well, here they are. Just dry them off. I'll just go and get a file. Definitely hard, very hard. And it's hard to say, but I mean, they are proper, proper hard. <clears throat> All right, I've turned the um, <coughs> kiln down to 275 degrees, which is what I'm going to temper them at. Stop watch. 
So I'll go and clean these up, get them shiny again. I'm going to open the door of the kiln now, let some heat out of it. I don't want to sit in front of it with the heat out of it. Lovely job in winter, not so clever in this weather though. Right, well, I'll let that cool down, clean these up, and then we'll come back and temper them. Right, well here we go again. I've set the temperature now to 275. So I'm going to stick these in to temper them. Set my stopwatch, which you can't see, but it's just there. And I'm going to leave them in there for about half an hour and see how they look when they come out <clears throat> all right well these have been soaking for a bit longer than i'd anticipated because i got a bit distracted ended up having me dinner now then all right well that's the color they've come out very big one is a very sort of pale blue a smaller one has gone almost clear so I'm going to quench them gone a bit further than I would normally go. I don't know whether the camera is going to pick that colour up at all. I mean your cows fair sometimes I think you're supposed to air cool them or what. <clears throat> but as I just said gone a bit beyond the straw colour I would normally do. That's the 15mm one. Still very hard. I don't know whether they'll be brittle. I'll have to try them out. can take a bit, they're not as hard as hmm. I'll try them out and get back to you. Don't know how well the colour is going to come up on this artificial light. Nice and clean, I'll say that for them. Now the bigger one, which obviously took a bit more eating, has stayed much more of a blue colour. That's the big one, and that's a, quite a bit of a darker blue. I expected them to be straw, but... I mean, 2 sort of 75, 280 is what I can find the best sort of tempering heat for a punch but like I say I would normally do these to a, a light to a dark straw colour and I've never had any problem with them done at that colour it's just a bit hard to maintain it anyway I'll try them out and see how they go So this is the 15 mil punch that I did. So to give it a bit of a try, I went and punched 10 half crowns with it. And 
I used my me, um, microscope, my electronic microscope thing to do a before and after on the edges and there's absolutely no sign of any wear on the edge. A bit of the colours sort of started to come away a bit. But the edge is absolutely perfect. I mean, I know 10 ain't a, a good long test on them. But it does seem fine. Like I say, it's, the colour is a bit further than I would normally go. But it is the colour you recommend for making punches. But the kiln works absolutely fine and I think for each treating once I do get a bit of practice once I uh, know what's what be handy if I want in fancy Rockwell hardness meters like Pierre's garage has got but it all seems to be working well anyway that was just a short video on heat treating some silver steel with my kiln thanks for watching see you again in the next one Bye for now.